we have started a series of lectures from St. Wilfred College of Arts, Commerce, Science, Panvel. Uh, my name is Rajshree from CSIT department and the subject is top Software Project Management, Lecture 1. Uh, what is Software Project Management? It is dedicated to a planning, scheduling, resource allocations, execution, tracking, and the delivery of software and web projects. Uh, I, most IT related projects are managed in the Algal style to keep up with increasing space of business and it trades the based on the customer feedback and the uh, customers stakeholders. See what happens here when we are going to uh, uh, plan or to going to schedule any project. First, we are going to plan it. Planning is like which team members us may come karenge, how it is going to execute. Customer ko goal kaise hum achieve kar sakte hai. Scheduling matlab every time important hona, hota hai. To every time mein usko complete karna chahiye. Every phase has should be completed in that, uh, in that given time. Resources allocation is nothing but the data or the software is how we are getting. Manpower is also a kind of resources only. Execution, how the software is going to execute, how it's going to react, which and in which environment it is going to execute. It's also very important. Tracking and delivery of software and web projects. Uh, delivery in a proper way, in a accurate timing. Jo time hume bataya gaya hai, usi time ke hisaab se, usi time pe hume ye software deliver karna hai. After meeting all the goals of the customer. Uh, when this uh, algal style we are talking about, this style will help us to make sure that the project is goal ko meet kar uh, customers ya stakeholders unka feedback lekar hame pata hona chahiye ki uske goals kya hai unke goals kaise hame match karne unke kya kya requirements hame match karne padenge is software mein hame pata hona chahiye ki what are they are going to do what they want from it so we are going to test those of faces at every step First, we can say a planning, a project manager puts together the blueprint of entire project. The project plan will define the scope, necessary resources, timeline, procedure for execution, communication strategy, and the step required for testing and maintenance. While when we are leading it, a software project manager will also assemble the leads, the project team, which considers of developers, analyzed testers, then we can say a graphic designers and technical writers who are going to write the codes we can say heading up with a team required excellent communication team members with a good quality uh, good skills uh, people and leadership skills while we have an execution the project manager will supervise the su uh, su su successful executions of each stage of a project this includes monitoring process conducting frequent team check-ins and creating status re reports. Now we are going to have the time management here. See, uh, we can say the tracking or the execution is called also a time management. Staying on the schedule is the crucial to a successful completion of any project. Uh, this can be particularly changing when managing software projects because changes to be original planned or almost guaranteed of a software involves or we can say project involves software project managers must be expert in risk management and uh, and uh, or changing the plans when it is required to the project uh, even we can say if it is out of budgets or we can talking about the resources we are getting the budget also comes in that resources like traditional projects what happens uh, the software project managers are tasked with creating a budget for the project, a sticking closely to the possibility, and moderate are spent to the reallocating funds with necessary. See, if the project or the if the project is not tested at the every phase, then the this budget may increase because the people has to work again for it. Uh, team has to again struggle for the uh, for the requirement of a customer. So it will go through the budget or it will be over I mean, the budget se zyada ho jayega, which is not uh, capable, which is not actually uh, good for us. It will go for a loss. Then maintenance, we can say. 
see this uh, maintenance or the algal step also come in this maintenance uh, the software project management encourages a consistent product testing uh, to recover and fix the bugs early uh, adjust the end product to the customer's needs and keep the project on target the software project also ensures the product is properly and consistently tested uh, and adjust accordingly which doesn't make a mess further okay see when we are testing something or when we are going to execute something we will always think that the what the last ending we will get the product should be end properly with the managing the all the data next is we can say what why the spm is important when you say why software project management is important uh, the project management uh, closely monitored and developed and developed process development process prepares an execution various uh, plans arranges necessary and adequate resources maintains its communication among all team members in order to address the issues of cost budget resources time quality and customer satisfaction see what happens here why we are you uh, why we can say it is important see strategy alliance alignments is very important uh, project management is important because it ensures what is being delivered is right and will deliver real value against the business opportunities every client has a strategies goals and the project that we do from them advance goals uh, project is uh, project management important because also a part of uh, project management duties is ensure that the whatever project is uh, going we are making it should be properly so that they will fit within the border context and our client strategies framework or we can say a client's goal good project ensures that the goals of projects closely aligned with the strategic uh, goals of the business uh, even it brings a leadership and a direction of project without a project management a team can be like a ship without a rudder or a sailor moving uh, but without direction control or purpose where leadership allows the uh, allows and enables the team members to do with their best work uh, they will motivate it they will uh, uh, remove all the road blockers coachings and inspiring the team to do the best work even uh, they will proper plan and execute the strategy goals so spm is important while project uh, while we are uh, doing this of uh, spm uh we will ensure that uh, proper execution are set around what can be delivered by when and how much even the quality whatever is being delivered consistently hits the mark this will help us to uh, reduce the risk management then what is uh, why what is this risk management this risk will are properly managed and might uh, mitigated Uh, against to avoid the becoming the issues later when the project is delivered to a customer there should be not be issues by delivering it uh, to uh, by uh, by processing it or we can say when it is running uh, the right people do the right things at the right time it ensures the proper project process is followed throughout the project life cycle this project life cycle we are going to study later uh, the project process uh, is tracking and reportingly properly which will help us to make the project more uh, build in with the client relationship uh, some one needs to be able to understand if any one doing what they should understand the manager or the project manager we should communicate with it and we can uh, handle the project more easily see even the managing the project will help us to understand if project fails what we are going to do so this is what we are going to do when the spm is important it will help us to satisfy the customer next uh, we are uh, start with 
what is project a project is defined as an effort to create or modify a specific product or service projects are temporary work efforts which with a clear beginning and end projects can be completely contained within a specific unit or department or include other organization and vendors see what happens <coughs> what is project here when the project is made uh, there are thousands of things are working in it from end till from beginning till end project also contains many departments many uh, organization and vendors uh, why organization and vendors organization who is going to do this project and the other vendors who are going to be the stakeholders uh, customers suppliers resource holders all those things many things are there in this project will help us to understand that what the product we are getting is a specific service is a specific product is software that going to be a uh, work for a temporary basis next is software project versus another project uh, the biggest difference between the software project and the uh, uh, and uh, this uh, other project is a kind it is not a physical first softwares are not a physical software consists of ideas design instructions and formulas still software only matters when it appears as something real when even as barely real or colored sequentially of on a computer screen software projects are also we can say uh, that uh they are already technically done and uh, even they are managed properly but in other projects uh, we can say that it can be handled in a sequence wise see this is contract management uh, sorry what is contract manager here contract manager consists of contract uh, we can say this is a life cycle management contract is a request authoring negotiating and collaborating review and approval execution uh, obligation management Uh, expi uh, expirations re uh, and renewals and editment contract uh, request uh, contract management software is a range of a computer programs libraries and the data used to support a contract management contract life cycle management and contract management on project uh, it will make uh, it will maybe uh, show that used with a project management the best contract management will help us to make the data in a sequential wise what are the requirements the software project management is dedicated so what are the requirements for the contract management see we need the request authorizing negotiating see this all procedures that this eight uh, uh, things are going to help us to arrange the contract management easily first is contract request uh this will help us to contract the uh, help us to request the risks of the financial issues then next is authorizing that what are uh, what are the changes what are the budgets are we are going to have in our contract we are going to uh, write it or we are to going to document it negotiating about the contracts what true and false we are going to collaborate with it reviews and approvals if whatever decisions are to 
people, team members are going to review it and the approvals are given for the procedure, then execution of that project, then obligations management that if any issues will come, then it will going to be managed, then that uh, exp uh, expirations and renewals, then if the project is going to renewed or if they, uh, the project is expired, or we can say the software is expired, which is used in another project, then how it will be renewed, it will all uh, come together, then amendment Adamant is nothing but delivering the uh, project to the customer. This will help us to understand the fact of the project. Even the execution and this analyzing to minimizing operations and financial performance of an organization all will reduce in the financial risk. Uh, organization encounter and we ever increasing amount of pressure to reduce the cost and improve the company performance. Even this will also help us to understand the roles and responsibilities, uh, the key roles on the project, how it is going to perform will monitor critical delivery date, uh, details that we agree during the negotiations, risks and issues that are need to be managed. Next is technical project management. There are, uh, we can say here it is uh, TPS. Technical project management is the process of managing IT or IT related project. Technical project managers are critical to be conceptions, developments, and execute of this uh, project. Managing the budget, communication with stakeholders. How it becomes a technical uh, project manager, uh, management are generally expe uh, expected to hold a bachelor degrees, first of all, in this being a manager. Uh, and what is the difference between it? Uh, it means that technical project uh, means that we'll have a good technical knowledge that will help us to understand the, the technical uh, issues of this project. Technical uh, expertise will, uh, we can say the manager, uh, will go with the manager, which is going to hold the technical project. Technical expect is that we should have a good knowledge in the technology and updated uh, softwares and have a very good uh, position or we can say very good knowledge about technical issues. Business acumen means how the people is, uh, how the business is going to work with this project, how the long time this project is going to work. This will help us the organization to be a very uh, client or very helpful for making the customer uh, or the stakeholders communicate with. Even it will help us to manage the project and project management is nothing but managing the project in a good way, which will help us to arrange the project with them and help them to organize it in a all way. See, all project manager or uh, who is going to manage this uh, technical project must process our organizational powers leadership capability and communication skill to be a successful. When it becomes an IT project, you can add a technolo uh, technological uh, knowledge, expertise to the equations. Technical project management is a process of managing uh, critical conceptions, developments, and executing of this project in the additional to understand the technical content of the project. They must handle all the duties, normal, uh, as script the project uh, also about the planning. Uh, there are some duties that project uh, managers or the technical project comes under scheduling and timeline maintenance, execution, maintaining the budget, communicating with the stakeholders and ongoing maintenance. This will help us to project to go in a proper way. Next are plans. Uh, quality plans describe the quality procedures and the standards that will be used in a project. See, validation plan describes the approach resources and schedule 
used for system validation and configuration management plan describes the configuration management procedures and the structures to be in. See, in this uh, plans are very important in the software. We can't go and just start with the execution. Plans are very important because every plan will help up to meet the customer's requirement. Quality plans will help us to understand the quality of the project, how the quality is going to be of the project, that the project should be run in a very flexible manner. Validation will approach the resources and the schedule of the system. Configuration management plans will help us to understand the configuration under the procedure will going to take place. This will help to understand how the project is going to work in a proper way and how it is going to use. Thank you. We will uh, start with the next chapter.